I'm Doug Adair. Coming up next at 6 on Newswatch for Columbus, new honors for Buckeye coach Randy Ayers. A teenager left to care for a young child, and there is a house fire. The Skycaps finally back in business out at Port Columbus, and another Central Ohio report from the USS Wisconsin. Newswatch 4 is closed captioned for the hearing impaired. This is WCMH-TV, Columbus, Ohio, and this is Newswatch 4, Central Ohio's news leader, with Doug Adair, Angela Pace, meteorologist Jim Goodall, and Jimmy Crum, the Dean of Central Ohio Sports. Good evening, everyone. Ohio State won't win the National Basketball Championship this year, but Randy Ayers has won the National Championship of Coaches, today being named the Associated Press College Basketball Coach of the Year, and this comes on top of being the first choice of the Basketball Writers of America and Big Ten Coach of the Year. It's amazing the 34-year-old Ayers in just his second year as Coach of the Buckeyes. The AP award comes with voting before the NCAA Final Four Tournament in Indianapolis, a nationwide panel of sports writers and broadcasters. The Buckeyes with a record of 27 and 4 and a tie for the Big Ten title with Indiana. A child playing with matches today in Columbus, parents out of town, and they will come home to find this, the damage done by a blaze to their home on Brewster Drive in Madison Township, far east side of the city. Officials believe that five-year-old Joseph Hansen caught a clothes hamper on fire. Neighbors say the uh, grandmother who was watching Joseph and his two-year-old brother Raymond had gone to the store, left them with their 16-year-old cousin. Everyone did make it out of the house safely, but the uh, two Hansen children did receive minor burns. They were taken to Children's Hospital where they're listed in good condition. The parents, Jay and Pat Hansen, are believed to be out of town. Well, more out-of-towners caught trying to sell drugs in...